We're given a circuit with two batteries and a few resistors. I'm showing the batteries with dashed lines. There's another one over here. <clears throat> the first battery has an EMF of 4 volts and an internal resistance of half an ohm. The other battery has an EMF of 8 volts and internal resistance of half an ohm. And what I'm going to do is draw an equivalent circuit over here. See if you can agree with this. I'm going to replace all of these with one resistor and one source of EMF or one battery. And so we've got a 4 volt battery pushing current in the counterclockwise rotate direction and an 8 volt battery pushing in the clockwise rotation so that leaves me with 4 volts in the clockwise direction and I add up all my resistors they're all in series I get 24 ohms so if I have a total resistance of 24 ohms and a net voltage of 4 volts then I say V equals IR and my voltage is 4 and my resistance is 24 and so my current is 0 0.167 amps so what I'm going to do before I attempt answering the questions uh, let's just take a look at all the different points here in the circuit A, B, C, D those were given I added point E over here Let's just take a look at those and determine the voltage at every point. So what I'm going to do is uh, let's pick some point that's zero and we'll, that will define all the other voltage in relation to that. So I'm going to ground, I'm going to put a, uh, a ground here. At point A and that defines, that's basically basically saying that V equals zero at that point. So I'm going to say the voltage at A is zero. And now I'm going to go around and pick out what all my other voltages are going to be. The voltage at B is going to be the voltage at A minus IR. R6. So whatever A is, uh, the, vo the current is going in the clockwise direction. So the current is going in this direction. And so that means that the uh, bottom of the 6 ohm resistor has to be at higher potential than the top. So I'm dropping by IR as I go through that resistor. So B is going to be a lower potential than A. A was 0, so B is going to be negative. So I've got 0 minus uh, I times 6 ohms and I end up with negative 1 volt. The voltage at C is going to be the voltage at B minus I times half an ohm minus 4. We're going backwards through the battery from the high side to the low side. I get negative 5.09 volts for the voltage at point C. The voltage at D is going to be the voltage at C minus I times 9 ohms and that gives me negative 6.59 volts. The voltage at E is going to be the voltage at D plus 8 volts. We're going up through the battery minus I times a half an ohm. We're going down through that resistor and that is 1.33 volts. And just to check, the voltage at A is going to be the voltage at E minus I times 8 ohms and I get 0 volts so that checks out we're back to 0 again 
So that's a good exercise for you. Go back and convince yourself that uh, you can redraw this circuit as this equivalent circuit to find the total current and then walk through the circuit and get all the delta V's. You can pick zero to be anywhere. You can ground any point in the circuit. All the other voltages are in relation then to that ground because delta V's are all that we really care about. Okay, in this problem they're asking for the terminal voltage across the 4 volt battery. So they're looking for delta V uh, between points B and C. And so I end up getting minus 1 minus a negative 5.09 4.09 volts. You notice that this is actually more than 4 volts. It's bigger than the EMF of the battery because we're driving a current against the natural EMF of the battery. Uh, why would we do that? That might, Maybe this is a circuit to charge a battery. Sometimes rechargeable batteries are, uh, are charged this way. You run a current in the opposite direction through the battery and that charges the battery. So uh, in this case we're actually getting a larger number than the EMF because we're pushing a current opposite the natural EMF of the battery. And in part B, they change the circuit on us a little bit. We've got a resistor, a battery, another resistor, and now we're inserting another battery with half an ohm internal resistance and 10.3 volts EMF. We still have our 9 ohm, our 4 volt half ohm battery. Uh, we still have a half ohm 8 volt battery and a 8 ohm resistor. and a 6 ohm resistor. So we've inserted this one uh, extra battery here at the end at point D. 10.3 volts pointed in the counterclockwise direction. So I'm going to come up with an equivalent circuit, or maybe I should let you do it. One resistor, one battery. Think about that for a second. See if you can figure out which way the battery goes what the net resistance is and the net current. Okay, I'm going to put in my answer here. I get a battery that's putting the current in the counterclockwise direction, 6.3 volts, 24.5 ohms is my net resistance. So the current then in this circuit is V over R, 6.3 over 24 and a half, 0 0.257 amps, and it's going in the counterclockwise direction. And so the voltage across the terminals of that battery, wait a minute, that was... Uh, That was B C, voltage B C, the same voltage we found earlier. The voltage across the four uh, volt, the, the terminal voltage across the four volt battery is going to be uh, if we start at this side and we go through the battery, we've gone up by four volts and then we go through that resistor in the same direction of the current this time so we're dropping by the current times the resistance and I get 3.87 volts